y'all probably heard this about Jodi Arias. And as soon as I, I brought her name up, Courtney goes, are we still talking about her? Yeah, it's still going on because now the jury can't decide. It, they're in the sentencing phase and the jury can't decide if they're going to give her life in prison or the death penalty. She said in the past, I would rather die than well, spend life in prison. Mind. She's changed her mind. Because and, and, she thinks there's a chance that they might be able to do some sort of appeal and like, right. get her but out. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. So she gets to change her mind and take the stage with her drawn out here she says I can become a, a you know a citizen who helps others I've cut off my hair and I've donated it to the locks of love locks of love and I will continue to do that like this is you know she cut off her hair because they cut it off she didn't like cut her hair and but, then give it. Now she said she can be in prison and help women who are battered and abused and all this muggledy muck and we are spending time giving her all this time. But Imagine you know what's that, we can't sit and I mean we are in that position so like if someone if I had gotten prosecuted for something and was at the uh, crossroads of life or death that I could spend the rest of my life in a cell but still be alive or die I mean I don't know what decision I would make and I'm sure that she's in a state of panic to make a decision. I mean, like, no, what would y'all right. choose? Yeah, that's you're a right. good question. Mm. What, what would you, you do? Like, life or just take me now? Because at least maybe at that point you could still get to heaven. I think I'm too chicken to say where take my, me now. It would depend on where, I guess, I w you know, was spiritually. Because if it's, if spiritually, if I had been, you know, you know, asked for God for forgiveness for whatever I'd done. But isn't it funny how a lot of these peace. people that spend life in prison, all of a sudden they find God. They well, are like, they do. I believe they spend God, all that time thinking. Well, really, I believe that God gives them an opportunity to build a relationship. I think he gives them the opportunity for forgiveness. And so if you have that time, most of the people do I come agree. to know the Lord while they're in prison. And they come out very like on fire for the Lord afterwards. So, I mean, I think it depends on where I am. If I'm at peace with God, I say, take me. I'm done. If not, I need to stay here and work it out. I think that's a good point. I don't know. I, I it's questions like that freak me out because you just don't know what you would do mm -hmm. in that situation or how you would and feel. I think a lot of it would depend upon your family and your children, and you have a conversation with them, mm -hmm. and um, and then kind of. I don't know. It's a hard call. Yes. But I know we've had enough of her. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're deadlocked, so it'll be interesting. <laughs> yeah. like one side. The yeah. judge basically told him, get get back in there. Figure it out. I know. Wow. It. Yeah. You know, it's interesting. And then I don't know how I'd feel about sentencing somebody to death. Oh, that's the other see, side of it. You know, I, and, and Brian and I used to have this, this argument about... You know, if something ever happened to one of my children, if someone harmed one of Brian's my children, your, Brian's my, my kids, the, the, the kid's boys, dad, yeah, um, my ex-husband, and he he would say it doesn't matter. It's not an eye for an eye. The death penalty mm -hmm. is wrong. You know, it's and and I would say no. But if somebody harmed my child, I would want I would want revenge. I would want like an eye for an eye. But then when it comes right down to it, it's kind of like the topic of abortion. When it comes, you know, you, you want to say maybe I think women should have the right to choose, but then when it comes right down to it, mm -hmm. when it's you and if you've had children I think before, everything is everything circumstantial changes. and I think every person is entitled to make the best decision for their life at that moment, whatever situation they may be in. And mm -hmm. if if she wants to go now and she is comfortable she in, with her eternity. Go, no, I'm saying well, like if she wants to go now and she's comfortable in her with her eternity and where she's going to wind up then go now but maybe she's having like I said she's probably having a moment of panic of like my heart's not right my spirituality is not in check like maybe this is her way of buying time to, to well, get right with the, and the bottom line big is man she, upstairs. She doesn't, she doesn't really have a choice. She's you know, never said she was sorry her. about what she did. She said I wish I'd made a different choice. She's never said you know yeah. I'm really sorry about what I did. Mm makes a difference, doesn't it? Yeah, well, it does. To really apologize for something so heartfelt. If she, I think I'd probably give her life. And then, you know, let her build whatever life she can have mm -hmm. in there. Because mm -hmm. there, there are people that build a life in there. That's true. Mm -hmm. uh, and people they, who they, have been they able to do. Make. Do you think you can fall in love in prison with somebody else that's in prison? Oh, I yeah, think definitely. so. Yes, I think so. Well, I don't know. You How does that work? Because now she's thinking, like, I could never have kids. I could never you know, have sex again. I could never, like, fall in love. I could never meet my n next soulmate. Like, they do. But I wonder if they could. They do. Well, they could. That'd you be a good reality show. And probably it ought to be the guard. That's who you ought to fall in love with. <laughs> so you can get better. There you go. So you can get better food. Have control over what channel they watch on TV.